Welcome to the News at 10. An Army veteran from Star embarked on a road to recovery today. A motorcycle accident sent him and another driver to the hospital. It happened almost a week ago in Meridian while he was on his way to take the final test to get his EMT certification. Katya Stepovic sat down with him and his girlfriend. And Katya, how are they feeling today? I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't, and they just got home today. And wow. in light of it all, they are all around really positive. It's actually remarkable to hear. And listen to this, when Kevin Wallet left his home that day, just six days ago, it never crossed his mind that his life would never be the same. But today, in light of it all, he is just simply happy to be alive. Just one week ago, Kevin Wallet was doing what he loved, riding his motorcycle. That's what excites me in life is motorcycles. Um, I love riding them, looking at them, everything about them. He was on his way to take his final exam to become an EMT, but when he got to this four-way stop at Cherry Lane and McDermott Road in Meridian, something wasn't in sync. I remember feeling that it, like it couldn't be, like this isn't real. Kevin crashed with a car in a quick moment that changed his life forever. First I saw one car up on the road with um, someone standing by it and she was extremely upset. And then I saw the motorcycle down off the road kind of towards the field in the ditch. Driving her kids to school, Jen Skisik was the first person to see and help Kevin. Kevin was on his back um, and he was kind of just rocking back and forth and, um, and crying out. I won't ever lose those images in my head. His fiance's heart sunk when she learned what had happened. And I got the text that nobody wants to hear where it was like, there's been an accident. Um, please go to St. Alphonsus. On the way to the hospital, I ran into the crash site and it was just really, it was just really hard. Kevin survived, but will forever be changed. There it is. Do you see that? Kevin had to get half of his shin and his entire right foot amputated. Yeah, it's all wrapped up in a nice bandage. How are you guys feeling right now? It's emotional. Yeah. Really yeah. emotional. It's, uh, sorry, it's really hard. It's, it's, it's uh, I'm emotional just trying to accept. Kevin was in the Army for 10 years, serving as a medevac crew chief and training to be an EMT, skills that he says saved his life. Do you sometimes you wish you didn't remember it all? No. No. Why is no, that? I made the choice to, sorry. I made the choice to mentally be conscious because I thought I was going to die if I didn't. I will walk again, so I am happy about that. And I feel fortunate, but it's been hard. After six days in the hospital and two major surgeries, today is a good day. We literally just got home. It's amazing. I got to take a shower for the first time in six days. <laughs> While Kevin has to say goodbye to his passion. I will never ride again because I do not want to put anybody through the thought of something's going to happen again. The couple embraces a positive perspective on their new normal. It feels like there's some sort of purpose in this and the people that were placed there, like the, there's so many synchronicities coming through. And I think that our main focus is to look forward. That's simply all you can do, I guess, in this kind of situation. And the cause of the crash still under investigation. Kevin says he will become a flight medic and will complete his EMT certification. And that everyone he's talked to so far says that there's no reason he can't do that. Obviously, there is a long journey to recovery ahead. That includes a lot of new equipment and expenses for the couple. We have a GoFundMe on our website, ktvb.com, where you can help. But guys, it's pretty amazing how positive they have been through yeah. this all. You know, I just asked them questions recounting the experience and they just kept saying, we're looking forward, we're looking forward. And they have been in touch with everyone who helped him during that time and they're all going to get dinner and be yeah. friends for, sounds like, the rest of their lives now. They connected you with Jen, right? Mm -hmm. Who yep. came upon him. Yeah, that is and amazing. they're looking for John. If John's out there, he's the one that they didn't get his name. So if you would yeah. like to get together with them, they're looking out for you, John. They have such a positive outlook, Katya. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Great story.